Now we get some great messages uh, from people all over, from all over the place, and it's great. Thank you very much. Don't forget subscribe, share, like, notify, and all the rest of it. But we did get a funny comment the other day, and it came through to us not on a YouTube comment, but it came through to us on a different uh, app sort of thing. And uh, and the comment was, "Oh wow, I want to do plastering. I want to learn how to do plastering." Well. Gainer. No, you don't. It's horrible, it's dirty, it's yuck, it's hard work. But if you do, hey, I'm more than willing to tell you someone who would be good enough to teach you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just watch the hilarity as we tackle an enormous bit of plastering. It's not really enormous, it just felt like it. But anyway, that's coming up. Enjoy. Thanks, Gainer. See ya. Oh, there's no dodging it. No dodging it. Unfortunately, look, we're here mob handed. Can you believe it? But today's job is that. Matthew is uh, just putting this drop tape uh, across the top, so it's going to just cover everything. So, so you you put it up and then you unravel it like that bit that he's done around there. So it should just give some protection from my average plastering skills. See what the painter and decorator thinks of the corking. We'll leave that there. No more needs to be said, which is good. One part silk seeker latex SPR, three parts clean water. There you go. Okay. Right, is it, what's that for? Does that say for plus so, is that for any everything? It says directions for use. Okay, there's no as, as primer as primer, yeah. dilute one part SBR with three parts water. Okay, cool. As, well, well we're not bonding, are we? No. Oh, so yeah. Okay. Right, I'm gonna have a go now. Getting rid of this.
Okay, it's looking interesting. What do you mean interesting? <laughs> what does that mean? Well, you've still got the white bit, but oh, it'd be quite... with this paint? Yeah. So we both had an apple before we embark on this ridiculous thing. Stupid plastering ceilings, God. Rubbish. We'll give it a go. Right, do you want to mix? Right, hang on, Bob, there's a hang on. Hang on, hang on. What other rubbish instructions does it have? It kind of said you can mix in some SBR with the mix. Uh, for okay, yeah, I'm not doing that. No. So this is where uh, I tidy up, and then the stuff is then stuck. Mm -hmm. ah! Back quickly, it's starting to rain. <sighs> What? Right, Matthew's mixed up the third lot. Now, the, qu three. the question is, always one of these things, PVA or SBR? Well, I can tell you, I can tell you right here, right now, without a shadow of a doubt, SBR, you know, does not suck. Which may be when I say that PVA sucks, you're probably thinking, ah, oh, that means SBR wins. No, what I mean is, it doesn't suck. It's rubbish, is SBR. The ins either the instructions are rubbish, or they should add some instructions, which is, when you are on kind of that paint that gave a swirly effect, that thick paint, when you're going on there and there's very little adhesion, you do not, I don't think, possibly water it down. It says three parts water to one part SBR. That is rubbish, absolute rubbish. If you are doing it on something that's not very adhesive, I would probably put it in a pan, boil it down so it's even more concentrated and then let's try applying it. Or just go for PVA, because PVA bloody well sticks and it works. And we've been, the SBR has been on the ceiling for a few hours. It hasn't dried off at all and it's not coming off off my float. So I'm putting the plaster on, I'm putting it on the ceiling and as I'm doing it, it's all coming with the the float and none of it's going to the ceiling. It's rubbish, absolute rubbish. So I would say PVA, far easier. Just slap that on, it's a doddle. But this stuff, I have to say, SBR, we probably got it wrong. We've probably got it wrong, but if we've got it wrong, it's only because we followed the instructions, and that is why I don't follow instructions. There we go. <laughs> Sound really grumpy, and that's because I am. Honestly, if you'd have had sound, well, so I did that first skim, the swear jar, I'd have needed a shipping container. Right, thank you. Let's go. At least now that SBR rubbish is hidden and it should stick. Mm -hmm. I bloody hope so.
does quite a lot quite quickly. Well, it's the usual story. Me covered in plaster and one ceiling, best these strikes again. One ceiling, I'm completely goosed. But I have to say that was an absolute. And I think you'll agree with me. The problem was it had that paint, that thick paint that leaves kind of ridges and spots, little peaks. So I had to go on fairly thick, but we thought we'd try this SBR instead of PVA. Now this paint just did not absorb the SBR and it is rubbish. It stayed there as a liquid. And as I tried to put the plaster on, it just smeared it. Oh my goodness me, it's a good job there was no audio on that because that was several hours of the revenge of the plaster. And it was horrid. It was absolutely horrid. So SBR absolutely failed on this account. I think I need it super strong, super sticky uh, because it just wasn't getting absorbed. So anyway, we got it on. Matthew then mixed me the world's stiffest mix. So I was just trying to put it on and I thought, he's done this to wind me up and it's working. So anyway, I added a bit of water loosened it off and we've managed to get it up there. I think it looks all right. I think it looks all right. I am absolutely shattered though. I don't think this right arm will work probably, you know, oh, for at least 20 minutes. Um, plasterers out there again, hey, right on plasterers. Great job and you know how hard stuff can be when it's awkward and all the rest of it. But one good thing came out of it because I got myself um, one of these, which is an Ox Ultraflex. Now, by the way, I am not paid to buy anyone for anything. If you'd like to change that, <laughs> please do. Um, but no, unfortunately, nobody, nobody wants to pay me to do anything, but I will give a big shout out to these guys, the Ox Ultraflex. We also use the... Um, the speed skin, the big thing, uh, which was quite good. I wanted to do the, I didn't use the metal blade on it this time to sort of polish it. I wanted to try this and this is lovely. This is lovely. You can see it's got a real sort of flex. Well, hopefully you can see that. So the real bend to it and it's a decent size. You know what they say, size does matter unfortunately. Um, and yeah, it, it's one of those things that um, it's done all right. So we had a, a rubbish start. It got worse in the middle. The wheels pretty much came off towards the end, but we pulled it round and we've done it. We've done it. We've done the kitchen ceiling. The next task. Oh no, hang on. No, I forgot to mention the light that's in the middle, that one, because that light is going over there, of course, I didn't turn the light off. So I haven't filled the hole. So when I take that wire back in, I do have a, a tiny little bit of patching to do on there. So ooh, what I might do, what I might do is as I call out for these spotlights, the down lights, I'm going to see. I'm going to see, what do you reckon the chances are? See if that core plug will fit. If I can make a circle up there, maybe one plug from the thing will go straight in and it'll, you know, save me a lot of work, but it's no big thing. I'm quite happy to do that rather than that ceiling again, which means folks, hey, when it comes to the plastering, the big jobs that I've been dodging for ages, the kitchen ceiling is now done. Yes, tick. We've got the other half of the stairwell, boo, um, which needs doing. But then we're kind of most of the stuff because the very top room, if you remember all that way back to the very top room that we spray corked and all the rest of it, we're still not sure if the roof leaks, still leaks or not. Um, 
So we haven't done that, but that's going to be Matthew's project to learn how to skim and do stuff. So that's him. I've done two walls up there, so he's got two walls to do, and then we need to look at the ceiling. But as far as big plastering jobs goes, we're down to one, folks. We're down to one. I can't believe it. I know you can't. It's amazing. Oh, and also today, did you see um, the skirting boards are getting the first coat? So yeah, you know, it's coming together, folks. I've been checking my little hidden, tucked away, written on a piece of silk escape plan because I can see the dream house and I and you and anyone else, come on, we can all go because we can all escape to the dream house. Come on, look at that. Well done, one ceiling bestie. Oh yes, your beauty. Here's Johnny. Plastering table, hawk, bucket, freshly painted wall. There's no denying you did that. Yeah. <laughs>